everyone welcome to astrom sham today i'll be talking about rahu mahadasha okay and what you can experience or uh, what can be the impact of rahu mahadasha so if you are currently going through rahu mahadasha or if you are, while you are alive if you are going to go through rahu mahadasha then this video uh, you can gain some insights and in what you can experience in that dasha okay so let's begin now before talking about rahu mahadasha first let us understand what is dasha okay now dasha is basically a planetary transit okay but for a longer period of time like more than 3 years it can be 7 years it can be 18 years it can be 16 years okay so it has a greater say in our life events transits comes much later okay transits are for short time like um, the saturn okay the planet saturn takes 2 years 2 and a half years of transit okay and jupiter transit for a year okay but dasha last for 16 years 18 years 7 years okay so it has a much greater impact okay uh, and a greater say in our life events dasha is very important in analysis since you won't get the fruit of your great yogas in chart if that planetary dasha is not coming in your life dasha basically activates your life events say you have a desire uh, for foreign travel okay to travel somewhere and you are well prepared for it with everything in place but suddenly pandemic hits and due to lockdown we had to cancel the plan so similarly if you aren't going through a particular dasha then that particular gain or loss won't happen okay dasha is basically guest coming in a house if they are friendly it increases our happiness but if they are toxic and inimical then we have to suffer dasha activates your life events so dasha holds much say in predicting your life events now we have ashtotri dasha and we have vimshotri dasha then which one to consider mostly uh, we consider vimshotri dasha because uh, now sage parashara has said ashtotri dasha has conditional dasha okay and is only applicable under in some charts and in certain conditions what are the conditions when either rahu is placed in a quadrant not lagna but in quadrant uh except lagna or trine from moon or lagna lord okay or uh, if you are born in krishna paksha in the day time and shukla paksha in night time however uh it is a conditional dasha okay so it is a bit complicated and controversial and cannot be used blindly so most of the astrologers including me prefer vimshotri dasha okay uh, so we consider vimshotri dasha now that we have understood why dasha is very important and what is vimshotri dasha and what is ashtotri dasha let's move to our first mahadasha which is rahu rahu mahadasha now understand that here i am not uh, including the nakshatra the placements the conjunction or the dignity okay it is just a general prediction just a general analysis which most uh, mostly you will resonate okay if you are uh, going through this or if you will go through this so you will experience this but, but it is a foundational level okay so it may change okay uh, in magnitude uh, depending on the dignity now rahu is an illusionary deceitful planet it is also a demon god okay so this dasha or mahadasha generally isn't supposed to bring good results doesn't bring good results rahu mahadasha last for 18 long years now what can be the results okay rahu mahadasha will probably have three different results depending upon the dignity of planets and nakshatra it is placed in but i am not complicating here 
However, like always, I am not considered conjunction aspects, dignity, whether it is exalted, debilitated, retrograde or combust. But this is a general analysis that you will experience. Now let's talk about those three different re uh, results which you can experience. Now one of the results uh, that you can experience is being, uh, being persuaded towards wrong direction. Like some people can experience bad company, addiction, depression, terrible pain, loss, sufferings during this Mahatasha. Here Rahu shows its uh, its uh, what you can addict addictive nature. Okay, so you, here what what happens is one uh, Rahu creates that addiction in your life. About everything, about the pleasures, about you may be attracted towards the wrong, uh, wrong things, wrong, uh, uh, wrong company, wrong people, uh, oh, wrong surroundings. Okay, your one loses the direction of life basically, and uh, your one cannot differentiate right from wrong. Okay, your one gets influenced by negative or fake people. You could be surrounded by people involved in different type of addictions like drugs, gambling, alcohol or illegal work or uh, you get involved in all the wrong actions and sins. Uh, you, you may also uh, be involved in extramarital affair. You may cheat your partner. This cheating may happen or you may be cheated by your partner. Okay. Uh, you may also have to go through confinement like jail or asylum you may be suffering from addiction so you may have to go for rehabilitation center or something like that there or maybe there can be problems because of addiction so you may have to uh, go to jail okay some kind of things like that there may be a lot of illusionary traps that will attract you to destroy you and help you understand the value of morals and integrity your Rahu wants you to teach the value of morals and integrity. You may have to go through heartbreaks, deceit, humiliation and scandals. You can get involved in legal cases as well. Here you can be directed on a path of wrongdoings. You may not have anyone to guide you so you will go on a never ending path of darkness. So there can be now this depends on other factors okay so there can be also a tendency of suicide if other factors support it okay if you are suffering from this understand that this is a part of your karma and uh, of all the three results is the most terrible results of Rahu and here one needs to pray Rahu and moon and be spiritual and also do meditation and yoga and ha hang out with saint people good people this will be very difficult for you I'll talk about remedies in the end of this video okay also uh, Rahu can um, since it it's a uh, it's an outcast planet okay it's an illusionary planet so it also shows some uh, some diseases like cancer or uh, mysterious uh, diseases or psychological diseases okay uh, like schizophrenia okay um, OCD something like that uh, even cancer okay so one can even suffer from it one can even have to face uh, weakness or uh, weakness or uh, some kind of uh, some kind of health issues okay so this can also be there then the second result that some of you can experience is shedding of maya or illusion one results can be now rahu can uh, show its addictive nature so it can tra trap you into uh, those addictions okay second result is it can help you uh, understand the illusion the world uh, okay the illusion side of the world by shedding the maya okay like uh, the brahma okay the uh, the false belief that you had about the people okay 
uh, this transit will change your beliefs you will understand the reality of people there will be conflicts with your own people your friends your family you will realize who actually is on your side and who is not you will have quarrels with people you will be able to see through your closed ones your friends relatives family behind their mask you will understand who is yours and who is just pretending to be yours but will not help you in times of distress here the illusions will break open for self realization this is basically a karma to make you independent and detached okay you will trust only yourself and no one else you will emerge a strong independent individual in sync with your inner conscious you will introspect and look within there will be there will be lot of realization of true relations okay you will let go and um, end some relations or some relations will end you are also you will have to go through deceit insult um, and money problems as well you you may also face failures um, in education in career and there can be confusion regarding path ahead um, regarding the career path ahead okay so this can you, you may experience obstacles and if, may feel threat of enemies you we will feel like everything is covered with fog okay you lack clarity and uh, you'll feel that you can't see through clearly okay that is the maya of rough but here the difference is here you are not going on a wrong path but you are realizing about the reality of this world duniyadari uh, in hindi uh, uh, you know uh, we talk duniyadari kehte hain jise so duniyadari like the worldly wise is what you may become because of the sufferings okay so if you are suffering from this understand that we are born as atma okay our souls are individual and we are going to die alone so don't be afraid to ride alone okay when you are powerless you attack more okay and when you are uh, satisfied or when you are uh, completely in sync with your own self okay then no one can attack you because you are comfortable with yourself okay but raise your voice and stand up for yourself if someone is offended let them go because negativity should leave right so in second part the rahu will show the illusions of the world to you and break that okay and in the third one lastly some of you may experience a rag to riches story and then back depending on your placement so yeah and how you handle it so yes because rahu is a materialistic planet if you stay humble do not be attracted to maya illusion don't be greedy then you will experience a great success your rahu will create the maya the illusion of money and success for you here the karma is to be humble okay is to humble you and teach you the reality of money and fame so suddenly what will happen is you are just moving up and up and everything is working in your favor and you will feel like um you are climbing up the ladder of success and fame suddenly everything will seem to work in your favor you may also be interested in stock markets uh, you know speculative business suddenly you are gaining so much so your what happens is because everything is working in your favor and you are just going up and up so you will get egoistic lazy and greedy your one gets blinded by the worldly pleasures and 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 in his ambition okay uh, to achieve more money one loses a general sense of good and bad okay so like it has been said that uh, when everything is working in our favor then it is a silence before the storm okay so likewise this is a trap okay so if you are feeling that everything is working and rao is just making you rich and rich and you know uh, everything is uh, very beautiful then just remove your rose tinted glasses and see the reality rao here will take you to the peak of mountain and push you down as the dasha ends the fall from there will hurt you very much if you aren't careful so if you want to stay there and not fall 
be humble not greedy and egoistic do not treat other inferior or boast your ego or superiority in front of the people who are struggling do not show off okay do not be involved in anything that is morally wrong illegal or hurtful to others that's the key to not be misled by your success okay so in a nutshell rahu madasha is more bad um because it causes financial losses health issues confusion addiction mental stress and restlessness cheating fear deception conflicts delays and restrictions so more or less many obstacles and hindrances in the way to progress so yeah that is because rahu is a malefic planet and is a very is a demon god okay so the results may not be uh, positive okay but it's a mixed result now it will depend uh, the results uh, one can experience uh, one result one can experience the second result one can experience the third result depending on the dignity nakshatra placement and everything okay now uh, let's talk about rahu mahadasha remedies that you can do to uh, feel better okay now first of all try to be exactly opposite of rahu be honest do legal or moral uh, uh, do things that are morally right be humble don't be greedy don't make someone feel inferior eat satvik food live in the present okay stay away from addictions uh, keep good company let go keep minimum aspiration don't be uh, highly ambitious highly greedy okay and uh, even if you don't achieve it don't uh, stress yourself okay just let go of uh, it's okay okay do what is in your control and leave the rest okay then you can chant uh, rahu beej mantra which is om bram breem brom saharave namaha for 108 times every day 108 times okay i'll uh, put that mantra uh, in the description you can read that you can note that down you can also chant om ram rahave namaha okay then you can also chant hanuman chalisa or you can worship lord shiva because they are the considered to be the god who can protect you from rahu you can as well worship your deity whoever the, uh, it is but make sure to be to have that kind of spiritual or religious protection because uh, rahu will make your life hell trust me it is not an easy dasha to go through so be spiritual you need that um uh, a divine protection okay to protect you from the evil rahu okay then you can feed black go- uh, black dogs okay and donate food to underprivileged people uh, you can also fast on saturdays eat after sunset okay um you can also wear black or dark blue clothes you can as well donate uh, black or dark blue clothes okay and uh, jupiter is only the, uh, is the only planet that can control rahu so you can worship guru and chant guru mantra as well which is om gram greem grom sah gurave namaha okay so these are the remedies that you can do but the uh, one of the best remedies would be to please rahu okay so you can just chant rahu beej mantra okay which can help you uh, feel a bit better okay so yeah that was all about rahu mahadasha with rahu comes illusion deceit and sufferings in some form or the other but at the same time material wealth and success the key here is to be stable and humble and not get trapped in the illusion of rahu okay so i hope okay uh, that uh, just do remedies and uh, okay so yeah that is all for today 
I hope it resonated with you. If you found it helpful, do like, comment, share and subscribe. I also do personal reading. So if you are interested in consultations, then check the description below. Thank you for watching.